Are we at the top of the real estate market in Atlanta? It's time for your October 2021 real estate market update. So we know what you're actually wanting to hear about is the Atlanta Braves being in the World Series and are they gonna win or not? We unfortunately cannot forecast that, but what we can <laughs> talk about is the Atlanta real estate market update. So Christy, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yes, so everybody keeps asking us, are we at the top of the market? Um, I've had some people that have called and they're like, hey, should we sell now? Like, is the market gonna go down? Should we sell our house? Um, should we buy now or should we wait? Is the market gonna cool off? Yes, we get a lot of buyers. We get a lot of questions. They're always like, hey, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until the market mm -hmm. goes down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Well, the only issue with that is that the market hasn't gone down at all in the last two years. If you go back and look at any of our market updates this year, the numbers <laughs> just keep climbing. We've got some charts today you'll see where it's continuing to climb. There's not a plateau yet. So we do kind of chuckle a little bit when people tell us that they're gonna wait for the, mar the market to drop yeah. because um, there's just no indication and we'll go into the numbers and, and show you. Average sales price is still crazy high. Um, and that makes buyers feel like the housing market is not affordable right now. Yeah. So that's the reason for why they want to wait. Right. We understand why people are having to wait, but unfortunately it may just continue to climb. Right. So we are up 15.4% on the average sales price. This time last year, we were around 395,000 as the average in the Atlanta area. And we are all the way at 456 thousand as the average for September. It is crazy. When I heard the 395 number, I was thinking, oh my gosh, we're almost at 400,000. Now we're into the mid 400s and I've literally, Christy and I both have sold houses last year to clients that within one year of being in their house are seeing some of these same exact numbers in some of the cities are right around us. Yeah. So it's easy for a buyer to be like, okay, the prices are high now, but they're, they're going to go down. Um, the issue with that is that all of the national predictions are showing that throughout next year, we're still expected. You've read that it's closer to 10%, I think you said. Right. I've looked at numbers that are predicting closer to 5%. So right. they're still predicting the home prices to keep rising. Right. Maybe not rising as fast as the 2020 numbers, but still rising at a steady pace. Also, it is an indicator of how strong the market is with the days on the market, which mm -hmm. is how long it takes a house to sell or go under contract. And right now that's at 18 days. And what was it a year ago? A year ago it was at 32. So it's almost half the amount of days it takes for a home to sell now. We've been telling you in these market updates that buyers are paying more mm -hmm. than the list price. Right. Um, the percentage is about 2.2% on average is what buyers are paying mm -hmm. above the list price. And I think in previous videos, it was one point something percent. So even that's climbed a little bit. It is, it's climbing. So many of you may have heard that Zillow stopped buying and in your mind, you're thinking, oh, maybe there's a mm -hmm. problem in the market. Mm -hmm. Zillow was buying homes in the metro area. They did put a hold on that and you know, it is no indicator that the market is slowing down. It is truly just a backlog of inventory yeah. that Zillow has purchased right. and they have so much inventory that they are trying to get ready for the market. They're playing catch up. Yes, yep. they're playing catch up. So that is definitely not an indicator that the market is dropping. And then last number is month of month supply of inventory. So last year we were around 1.7 months. Months. Yeah. And what are we at this year? 1.3. 1.3. So only around one month worth of inventory, which means if every home sold, it would take one month for every home that's listed right now to sell. That's fast. When it comes to answering the question, mm -hmm. are we at the top of the market? Um, no. It's we still do not doing believe. like this, guys. Yes. We don't see any of this going on yet. <laughs> <laughs> we are not at the top of the market. And also, I think you had a good point. You were telling me it's not about when. Oh, it's not about when you enter the real estate market. It's not about when you buy. It's about when you exit the real estate market. So you just have to get over that you're paying top dollar that you perceive right now. Think about if you would have bought a home a year ago at 350 and now it's worth over 400,000. Yes. That's more what you have to think about when you buy is when you're going to sell, not when you not when you're going in, but when you're going out. Right. 
All right, guys, that is our real estate market update for the Atlanta market for October. We will see you again next month with more details on what you can expect in 2022. Yep, we're going to do a 2022 market outlook next month, so be on the lookout for that. Go Braves!